Hello, this is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc, and let's talk about a little Tiger Woods misinformation. You can even call them three lies, uh, misinformation. Not being at all critical of Tiger Woods or his camp. Tiger's got nothing to do with it. It's just the way the world works as information is propagated that may not be completely true. This is nothing critical about Tiger or his camp. Wish him the best in his recovery. And as you know, I've opined on some of his injuries from afar, from an insider knowledge perspective, that it's going to be quite a long recovery. This has nothing to do with that. This has to do with just clearing some things up. The latest about his kids compelled me to do this short little video. This is not about blue check marks, bashing media, not a red or blue political issue. It's just how information is gathered in today's society. So let's go over some of the misinformation that has occurred on one of the top stories over the last couple of weeks. First of all, both legs were broken. Second of all, he was transferred to uh, UCLA uh, in Westwood when he wasn't. And now information about his kids where he doesn't want the kids to visit him. I have not spoken to Tiger. I don't know anything about the inside, insider information. But looking at it and analyzing from the outside, here's what happened. The first one, both his legs were never broken, as it turns out. Initial reports were multiple fractures in the legs. And that somehow got transposed into both his legs were broken. As it turns out, only his right leg. Admittedly, in at least three different places. Upper tibia, upper leg, upper shin area, lower shin area, open fractures, the ankle slash foot as well. So multiple fractures all on the right side, nothing on the left side. But if you go back and look at all the initial media reports, it was both legs, both legs, both legs. That turns out to be not true. Even I got fooled by the second one, implying good stability for Tiger when he was transferred from Harbor UCLA Hospital to Ronald Reagan UCLA. Turns out that wasn't the case. In the end, he got transferred to Cedar sinai But I think where that happened was, I worked at Harbor UCLA Hospital before when I was doing the X Games. They helped us because they were close to Carson there in terms of uh, the Home Depot Center where some of the X Games activities were, where I've done some stuff. There were some X Games things back here, et cetera, where I was their chief medical officer. I'm very familiar with that hospital. A very good trauma hospital. It is part of the UCLA system, but not in Westwood. And it's called Harbor slash UCLA. I think what happened is some reporters didn't realize the difference between Harbor slash UCLA and in Westwood, Ronald Reagan UCLA. So some said Harbor, some said UCLA, and then all of a sudden a third person said, oh, he got transferred to Ronald Reagan UCLA. He never did. Obviously, we know now he subsequently has been transferred to Cedar sinai Not a big deal, but it just shows you how misinformation can propagate. And I think this is why I always try and look at things critically. The last one kind of gets me that come out, came out today. A couple of sources have said that Tiger, quote, doesn't want his kids to come visit him. The speculation is he doesn't want the kids being photographed on the way in by paparazzi. He may not want the kids to see him in his condition. He's assured them that he's fine, but the kids are in Florida with his ex-wife. Look, all of that may be true, but I think what media is forgetting is one thing. In California, I'm in San Diego, and San Diego and LA are fairly similar in terms of the what is or isn't allowed. Hospital visitors are not allowed right now. My wife works as a nurse in the hospital. It's one of the saddest things there. When you're in the hospital, you are not allowed to have visitors. My mom recently broke her hip. She got in for surgery, thankfully. I wasn't allowed to visit her because I wasn't treating her for her broken hip. Hospitals are not allowed to have visitors. Now, maybe there was an exemption, uh, and this is related to COVID, obviously. Maybe there was an exemption because Tiger has his private room and his kids wouldn't see anyone and Cedar sinai would allow it. But blanketly, no visitors, if you're in the ICU, if you're on the floors, that's been the norm here in Southern California. Maybe that's changing, but just trying to straighten that out. I just wish sometimes things would be reported in a more straightforward fashion. And uh, this may have nothing, Tiger's kids not coming to see him may have nothing to do with Tiger's wanting them to come or not wanting them to come. 
in theory, the hospitals prevent it right now in, uh, in Southern California. So the whole point is, let's look at data objectively and analyze things. Yes, I know you guys are going to say, I speculate all the time. I try and analyze injuries from afar, from an insider knowledge perspective, not insider information. And I try and put out disclaimers that this is opinion, this is analysis, this isn't fact. Even as I've talked about Tiger's injuries, it's opinion, it's analysis, and I try and make that clear. And I think we need to do a better job making that clear. What is opinion, what is analysis, and what is fact? And uh, we always will try and do that, and I will try and do that do this as well. Let me know if you like these short hit videos during the week instead of articles. We'll do some more of them. Hope you're doing well. Best wishes to Tiger. I hope his kids can legally come and visit him soon and give him a pick me up. We all know he's in for a long road. Wishing him the best. And once again, none of this was the fault of Tiger or his camp. It's just the way that media and reporting works nowadays. So uh, thanks for watching. And let me know if you like this and we'll do some more.